<laughs> and when your phone rang, Larry Lamb, yeah. um, <laughs> were you expect? I mean, it's been nine years. No, it was really odd. I was just going to make this phone. I forget even what it was. It was nothing important. And all of a sudden, on the late, I've got this Los Angeles number on there, and I thought, well, I should... so I just, I... Larry, yeah, who is it? James, James Corden. God, what, what are you? And on it went. We just had about ten minutes on. So finally, I thought well, I've got to say something. So, so like uh, you, you know, thought he wanted you on for the carpool sing along thing. There you did go. You? That's <laughs> what <laughs> I thought in my <laughs> dreams, right? <laughs> and uh, no, so he said, "Look, I just want to know if you're going to be available um, in the next little while, and uh, because it looks like we're going to be doing a um, a Christmas special. It was quite extraordinary. The whole thing it was quite." Like Hollywood esque, getting the phone call from this this superstar over there in La La Land, just to say, you know, we're going to take a well, trip back why, down memory lane. You know, we, every time you're in here, anytime any of the cast, Ruth Jones, of course, we're always always the question. We say, is there going to be a special? Yeah, I know. Be another series, I and know. a lot of that, the no's seem to be, well, James is in America, he's so busy, I we know. didn't have time to do it. So, I know. did you ever think that call was going to come? No. I, I'd gotten to the point where I, I just figured, well, you know, it's 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 left this jewel as it as it was, and yes. they don't want to go on, you know. It absolutely was a they, jewel. They were only ever going to do one series anyway, you know. Um, just to remind people, uh, it came to an end. It was New Year's Day, 2010, and uh, Gavin and Stacey were expecting their first child. It had been a difficult road for them as they were struggling to get pregnant, but thankfully the stars aligned and they were about to welcome a little one. Meanwhile, Smithy, which is James Corden's character, and Nessa Ruth Jones, had rekindled their romance mm. for the sake of their baby, Neil. So that's where we left off. That's where we left it. Yeah. And what about Mick and Pam? Where were they? They were all good. Yeah, they were all good. They're I mean, it's, good. it's amazing what he's managed, or they, he and Ruth have managed to do. You know, I've finally read the script. I, it was... It's really, it got me. I just started to read the first little sequence and I just found myself crying. It was just okay. like running into somebody that was a major part of your life and you're just so happy about it. It didn't really matter what they were doing. It wasn't funny, it wasn't anything. It was just so poignant. And I immediately was in to the feeling of the whole thing and it just sort of took me along. It and just brought you along to Barry Island, which right. we're now going to transport people to. And incidentally, if you've been to Barry Island or you have uh, memories oh, of what, what goes on, uh, this is live here. And um, if you're there in the half term uh, week, um, well, you know, it's a very British holiday, let's just say, uh, <laughs> at the moment. What, what, is, what is the appeal of the whole geographical location and the story. What do you think? What is it that gives people a sense I think, of hopefulness? I think the thing is, it's all about this melding of people from different elements of British society that are so similar and yet so different. That's what it is. You know, the mindset of people that live in Barry Island and the mindset of people that live in suburban London, you know, they're similar, but, you know, then all of a sudden you realise they're so different. And I think that was the strength of the whole thing right from the off. It was that clever thing of bringing them together yeah. and see what happens when you mix them all up. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's a love story. And that's it. It is a beautiful it's love, a love story, story. But there's a lot of love as, with other people. It's real. They it's, just managed to get it real. Is everybody back? Apart from the actress who played Doris, who sadly yeah, passed away. It, but everyone else uh, back on board? I have to be honest with you and say I'm not right up to speed on all of that. I'm yeah. not. Yeah. But uh, certainly dear old Maggie, who yeah. played Doris, isn't there. Um, but I, 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 I think by the, by the time I read the script, I thought, my, they've managed to do it. They've managed to do yeah, this. But, Larry, you're well up to speed, and Corden was very lucky getting you because you never seemed to be, be out of work, so it's good that you were able to, to yeah, create a whole... Yeah. Busy fooling a lot of people a lot of the time, <laughs> right? <laughs> so when will you start filming? Do you know anything yet? About... It, not too long from no. now. Not too long from now. So, um, yeah, it's going okay. to be extraordinary. Well, good luck to you. And Welcome. thank you. And does that mean you go down to Barry Island and whatever you'll be getting? I can only assume. It's all, I tell you, it's all super hush all hush. All super hush hush. Christmas okay. is normally at Mick and Pam's because you've got more room, haven't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you normally yeah. got more room there. Yeah, more room at Mick and Pam's. Good seeing you, Larry. Congratulations. <laughs> seeing you. Thank you. Thank Can't you very much indeed. Thank you, Larry.